Hello, lovely students. Today we are going to continue with our love for mathematics. And our topic for today is linear inequalities. So when we talk about linear inequalities, the word linear means if we have a variable with an exponent of what? One. So if I have two x plus five, okay, this is a linear expression. So when there's equal to, let's say equal to seven, it becomes what? A linear equation. Okay? Now, inequalities in this case can be, we can talk about greater than, we have greater than, we can have greater or equal to, so we have greater or equal to, then we can also have less than, okay, we can have our less than, this is less than, and we can also talk about less than or equal to. So less than or equal to. So if I should write, let's say if I should have five is less than, let's say two, okay? Five is less than two. No, this is even an invalid statement. So it should be five is greater than two. So this is an inequality, okay? with five being what? Greater than two. I can also have x is less than seven. Okay, this is x is less than seven. So you go omit this. Eh? X is less than seven. Let me even clean it. So we can also have y is greater or equal to eight, okay? y is greater or equal to 8. Now, these are all quadratic, um, these are all linear inequalities. Now, assuming I've been asked to solve for 5x, I don't know if you're going to see Assuming you have been asked to find 5x minus 2 is less than 7. We have been asked to solve for this, okay? And we present our solution on the normal line. Solve 5x minus 2, and which is less than 7, and you present your solution on the normal line. I'm not happy about the marker, seriously. So over here, we are going to have 5x is less than 7 plus 2. So we have 5x is less than 9. So if we want x, we are going to divide both sides by what? 5. So we have x is less than 9 over 5. But our x is less than one whole number, 4 over 5. x is less or equal to one whole number, 4 over 5. Now, if we have this inequality, okay, and we have been asked to represent this on the normal line, then we go to our normal line, we have our negative values, and then our positive values, we have 0. So I have positive one whole number, 4 over 5. So I have one whole number, 4 over 5. Then I have negative one whole number, 4 over 5. I can have negative 5 here, and I can have positive 5 here. Now, we are told that x is less or equal to 1 whole number 4 over 5. So if this is 1 whole number 4 over 5, we are saying it is less or equal to. So in that case, we are going to shade inside, okay? And we are going to indicate with our arrow whether it goes to the left or to the right. But our arrow is indicating that it goes to the left. So we are going to indicate that this is going to the left because this is less or equal to. So when we talk about numbers less than 1 whole number 4 over 5, these numbers are 0, negative 1 whole number 4 over 5, negative 5, negative 100 to what? Infinity. It goes on and on. Now, as you mean we have a negative number, okay? Maybe you have been given um, 5 is, um, let's say, greater than 2. Okay, you know this is a valid statement. Okay, this is a valid statement because five is greater than two. Now, assuming I use negative one to multiply through this, okay, this becomes negative five is greater than negative two. Now, I ask you, is this a valid statement that is negative five greater than negative two? No, negative five is not greater than negative two. So what we are saying here is, at any point you have 5 is greater than 2, or x is greater than 2, and your x is positive, okay? 
And in the case where your x is negative, let's say I have x is greater than 2, okay? This is a valid statement. But when I have negative x is less than 2, then it means that if I want x, my x should be greater than what? Negative 2. I'm going to multiply 2 by negative 1. And then when I multiply 2 by negative 1, I change the symbol. So over here, if I have 5 is greater than 2, and I multiply 2 by negative 1, okay, this becomes negative 5 is greater than negative 2. And that is an invalid statement. So we are saying that change the symbol becomes negative 5 is less than what? Negative 2. Okay? So make the symbol go the opposite way, change the symbol, and then negate it. So over here, if I have negative x, is greater than 2. This means that x is greater than, we also change the symbol, and x becomes greater than what? Negative 2. Now, let's pick an example. 